Hey diesel fans, today I've got both versions of our Turbinator VGT. As you can see, they're available as just the exhaust housing or a complete turbo. They're all clockable, either version. Each of the actuators can also be clocked to fit your project. But today, we're gonna focus on the electronic version. I get a lot of questions from y'all asking how does it work and how does it install? So let's get started. So when you order and receive your electronic VGT, you're gonna get the exhaust housing or the complete turbo and a box of electronics. With a box of electronics, pull out the wiring harness, the two sensors, the stainless tubing, and the control box. So once you have everything laid out, first thing you're gonna notice is the actuator is not like the stock actuator on a stock turbo. You have the wiring harness, we'll talk about that more here shortly. But then the brainchild, the control box, you'll see does not and will not plug into the factory harness whatsoever. Our Turbinator VGT system is a completely separate component. Has our own software for the Turbinator VGT. It will not plug into the factory harness, but you will need a laptop to calibrate it and adjust settings on your VGT. So first, you take the electronic VGT control box and plug these cables into it by snapping in the gray to gray and the black to black. For this video, we're gonna install this harness on a 6.7 Cummins. However, it doesn't matter what model you have, just follow our instructions and it won't be that hard. You'll need to find a location to put the control box. We have chosen to put it here with Velcro strips. So on the main harness, you also have power cables with battery connections. The red connector simply goes onto the positive terminal and the black goes onto the negative or the ground. On the 6.7, you're gonna run the yellow exhaust brake wire the USB and switch cable into the cab. To do so, you're going to want to remove the switch first and then pull it into the cab. Then you have a choice with the white ignition wire from the main harness. You can pull that into the cab or you can tap it into the fuse box. Either way is fine. All of those wires are going to be run through into the cab so you can see them going into the cab right here through the firewall. To connect the exhaust brake switch on a 6.7, this is an easy location to mount it but you can put it wherever you choose. Simply pull the panel off and fish the two wires through here, drill a hole, then the switch will simply snap into position. Then plug the two wires into the switch and then snap the panel back into the place. On 6.7 trucks, you'll pull the yellow wire into the cab and tap into the accelerator pedal position sensor wire that is plugged into the top of your accelerator pedal. This is also where the USB cable that connects to your laptop goes. When you're not using it, which is most of the time, you just tuck it up underneath the dash. Next, the boost sensor, exhaust sensor, and the actuator wire will be mounted over the top of your engine, like we've done here, so that they can be plugged into the appropriate components. The boost sensor is directly threaded into the front of this compressor housing. On this situation, it happens to have a T-fitting, but normally it'll go directly to the housing. Then the wire with the purple tip end plugs into the boost sensor with the heat shield. The exhaust sensor is mounted on the back side of your compressor housing. The pliable stainless steel tubing is then threaded into the back side of the VGT exhaust housing and then to the exhaust sensor. Plug the gray ended wire into the exhaust boost sensor. Plug the actuator plug into the actuator. And that's about it. That's the electronics for the VGT Terminator. Remember, this electronic system is completely separate from the factory electronics. For a complete how-to install, we provide you the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Let us know if there's something specific you would like to see in our next video.